Hello, and thanks for being with us today. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you your latest daily energy report. The Lynn Group has announced a new partnership with Sapphire Energy to co-develop an innovative system to deliver carbon dioxide to commercial-scale open pond algae-to-fuel cultivation systems. The focus of the partnership will be to develop ways to reduce costs associated with the delivery of anthropogenic CO2 for commercial-scale open pond algae cultivation. As part of the agreement, Lind will supply all of the CO2 needed for Sapphire's commercial demonstration facility in Columbus, New Mexico. Iveco, FPT Industrial, and Bosch have begun to showcase a new flex fuel vehicle to potential customers. The Iveco Tracker Bifuel Ethanol Diesel Vehicle was on display at the Agri Show, which is the largest agricultural fair in Brazil. The Tracker vehicle was designed to work on an FPT Industrial Cursor 9 engine, which runs on a blend of ethanol and diesel. The advantage here being that the mix costs less than diesel-only engines. The plan is for the new vehicle be, to be used by harvesters of sugarcane. Hitachi Cyber Defense Institute, JFE Engineering Corporation, Sharp, Hewlett Packard Japan, and Mizuho Corporate Bank have teamed up to collaborate on a smart grid project on the island of Maui in Hawaii. The collaboration will be responsible for conducting a feasibility study that will test and analyze systems that apply the latest smart grid technologies like power distribution control, demand side load control, electric vehicle operation and charging control, and others to the infrastructure of Maui. Based on the results of the feasibility study, the project is expected to be implemented by the end of March 2015. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.